what's going on maggie 2.0 here what's going on guys so i got a new motor for her because she blew her heart again anyways so i got a new motor uh semi new i guess you want to call it but i've already pulled some of this out look how clean that is in there um i believe this motor was rebuilt might have been rebuilt i'm not sure just because hold on let me clean these lenses real quick let me clean these lenses real quick that's better anyways uh i believe it's been rebuilt i'm not sure but it's pretty clean inside there and then uh all inside there i mean that it's clean i don't know you guys tell me say in the comments i mean that's clean like right i don't know that looks like it's it's clean but i don't know uh but yeah i got a new motor for the magnum and um tearing it down right now just to go through it um, clean it up, paint it orange, reddish, whatever color you want to call it. And I'm going to uh, check the heads, make sure the heads are good. I mean, the car came out of the guy said it ran good, this and that. And, uh, you know, he just, um, I guess, took it out to swap it with a 6 1. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go through it. I still got the other valve cover to pull off. And then. Um, see what's going on with it so i'm gonna get my tripod and i'm gonna time lapse this thing will like take these apart so stay tuned cool also if some of you know i blew the motor a week ago in it in magnum in my magnum i found another motor like a couple days later and so now Basically, she's sitting, front bumper's off. I had to tow it. I had to take the front bumper off because she sits too low. Yeah, it sucks, but you know, that's what happens when you play with it. But I didn't play with it. It was just cruising. I was just driving. Excuse me. Um, but I'm going to tear this one apart and find see what I find. But anyways, I want to take it apart. I want to just check everything before I throw it in there. I have not started on removing this one. I went on vacation. Um to utah um and stuff like that so i haven't had time and it really happened just as i a couple days before i had to go to vacation but anyways um so yeah and you can see look at here's a bearing that fell out of her she has a big ass hole in the oil pan um parts of the piston are on the ground you know they they're right here there they are sitting right there on the ground that's a bearing. Um, yep, here's another piece of piston. Like, it just fell out. There's more pieces on the ground. It's unfortunate, but uh, I wonder if the oil pan, or the oil pan, uh, the oil pump gave out. Because I did notice a couple days before that, the PSI, and I had just did an oil change. The PSI was kind of low, and I was like, eh. Maybe it's just because it's warm. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I, I've seen it go down to 17 before, but I don't know. It just, and it was like a day after that it happened. So, yeah, it sucks. But yeah, I'm going to go through this engine. I have a mess down in here, but uh, this is my little shop area. But yeah, I'm going to pull the heads off. You know, there's some 15 millimeter bolts, 5.8 bolts, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to pull his heads off. I mean, I mean, dude, come on. I mean, it had to have been rebuilt not too long ago. I don't know. Um, it is a newer model motor. It's an 06, mine's an 05. But I believe everything's the same. I mean, it has to be the same. It is the same. The only difference is the valve covers. And I, it's, kinda, it's, got, it's got these... Uh, <laughs> it's got this style, the newer style, with the coil. I hear those coils are better. Um, let me know in the comments if they're better. And... I know the plugs on those because they're coils or uh, the coil wires. I know the plug wiring plug is different. Um, can I splice those in? Can I get those plugs and put them in? You know what I'm saying? Um, am I able to do that? If I can, shit. I know we're junkyard where there's a hemi like this style that I can get those uh, wires out of. And if they're compatible, I mean, if I can just, you know, splice the wires in, you know, cut those off, cut these ones in, you know solder them together and all that i'm gonna do that so let me know if that works in the comments if anybody knows i really haven't looked into it so that's why i'm asking um other than that yeah let's get into it So, 
there's one head i'm adjusting my camera thing uh, tripod but uh, there's one head i mean the pistons have you know carbon on them but and then uh, you can see in my time lapse you see me pa uh, tap on the pistons and uh none of them dropped down or moved or anything like that so it looks good i mean yeah you might see a lot of that but anyways um yeah i don't know everything looks pretty good in here it's clean um head gaskets look worn um i'm gonna actually check the the heads and everything too like i said um but i am i haven't turned them over but the head gaskets look worn um well not worn but you know it's seen better days i guess you want to say and we wind this up boom anyways uh you know if this motor was rebuilt and if they uh try to reuse these heads that's a no-no you know it, to me it looks like they try to reuse these heads or the head gaskets my bad my heads head gaskets uh they look like they've they don't look like they've been on here you know just a little while you know they look look a little worn but anyways so i'm gonna leave that there i'm not using these head gaskets um like i said so i'm gonna just start on the other side and then go from there we'll see what we find on the other side and then everything should be good to go you know i'm gonna tear down the whole entire motor um yeah i'm gonna pull the water pump timing cover off you know probably clean it up real nice clean it um and then you know see what we got i mean the water pump i don't know man i mean like it's rusty here and it's rusty here but you know there's there is surface rust on here if you could tell like you're here you know along it and then in the guy's garage where i got it from it, it was uh everything was rusty inside and i think he had metal the block looks pretty oh shit the block looks pretty clean um not too bad i mean like i said looks pretty good surface rust like i said but it was sitting in his garage a lot of stuff he had in his garage was kind of uh was kind of uh you know surface rust you know like it had moisture in there um but yeah let's uh get to the other side and go from there <laughs> sucks you can see look at there was a valve seat <laughs> a valve seat failed that one that valve seat destroyed itself destroyed that piston destroyed that cylinder head um oh man I'm gonna lost boards right now. I don't know what to do. It can be fixed though. Luckily too, I mean, uh, I've already turned this. It, yes, it has some marks here, burn marks. And there is some, I mean, I'm gonna come in here with a fine, some fine sandpaper i mean even though you see these lines here like they're really man i and i know they're not supposed to have anything but i feel like nothing like i bet i feel it but i don't feel it you know what i'm saying like it's there but it's not like all that is even though it's there it uh like i only feel like maybe right there like down here i don't feel nothing like a little bit here uh, maybe a little bit right there but as it gets higher you feel a little more but that's it like everywhere else is smooth this is all smooth dude um it's 
side is this? This is the passenger side. One, two, third one in. Um, kind of lost a word right now. That really sucks. But it's not destroyed and it's not a catastrophe like 100%. You know what I'm saying? Um, Uh, I don't know what to say. All I can say is this. I just gotta get a piston. I don't know what that piston looks like. The pistons. I know there's a hole in the side. If there is a single piston in there that is still good. It's savable. That's that sucks. That really does suck. To be honest, it does suck. Um it sucks. Uh I do remember the dude that I got the motor from. He said it lost compression in one cylinder. He didn't know which one it was. He said it was running fine before it did it and I mean, I even got a video of it running, you know, idling and whatever. So the reason that happened is because a valve seat failed. The valve seat dropped. You can see it. You can clearly see it in the piston. Let me turn this around. And it was only that one. You can you can clearly see it right there where it came out and bam 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 you know smacked it and that's what caused the other you know catastrophe on the other side I mean everything else seems good I mean I like I checked the oil like I checked the oil filter like I literally opened it, I took it off and I drained it into a cup and I looked in there and there's no shavings. Like all the oil that is in here, like you see right there. Um, it's hard to tell, but with the camera, it's hard to tell, but I don't see no metal shavings in the oil. Like even in the, in the um, pickup tube for the oil, there's nothing. There's no oil, there's no metal uh fragments there's nothing you know like even in the in the block there's nothing metal so i'm gonna fix this it's just a matter of taking off the this piston and you know removing it taking it out and then now i'm just gonna check that bearing uh if the bearing is good you know like i said if 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 i have a piston in that one that's, that's still good or pistons that are still good I'm gonna remove them and I'm gonna replace it with this one. That's unfortunate, that sucks. It does suck. I mean, I was hoping to not to find anything. I was hoping to just open it up and it'd be good and you know, whatever, and then go from there. <sighs> but I see that's not the case. So, it's fixing time, right? It's time to just fix it. Nothing else I can do, but do it. I mean, this is gonna. This got to be better than what's in there, you know. That's just one. So, and we got rain coming here soon. So, I mean, I can't even pull the motor out of that yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just it's gonna be a hassle. So, I'm gonna have to. I want to open my gate all the way, and I want to pull it in a little bit more. So, I have this room, this area. I'm gonna clean it up better. Uh, move some stuff. Around. I've had to move a bunch of stuff around to get tools and stuff. But, uh, anyways, um, I'm gonna you know open the gate. Get a little closer or whatever and then uh or just bring it up closer i don't know we'll see and then uh just pull the motor out that should take me a couple hours a few hours to pull that out uh, i want to do it right now but man that bummed me out right there that bummed me out but it's okay like i said it's okay i'll figure it out i'll fix it and then if nothing's good in there, um, 
Yeah, no, it's good in there. Then uh, I know where there's a motor sitting out at the junkyard. Um, there was a block sitting out of the junkyard too with pistons in it. Fuck, I mean, uh, Jesus. You know what? I'm gonna try to go this weekend. Maybe I'll try to go Friday. There was a block sitting there, and it was that's where I got the crank from from the first time with the bearings and everything. It had all the pistons in it. And I didn't fuck with it. I didn't mess with it. I kind of just left everything alone. Passenger one, third one in. So if that block is still sitting there, and I know it's probably rain a few times and whatever else, so I don't know. But anyways, if it's still sitting there, you know I'll just fucking want to do. It should just it just pop it right out because it was just sitting there. Like I said, I already pulled the crank out and everything's out. All I gotta do is slap pull the, the cylinder, just pull it out. You know, as long as I and I know the bearings were good, I know everything was good in it. So I'll grab that, bring it here, swap it. I already have my heads, and if not those heads, I have another set of heads. If not those heads, I have another set of heads. You know, it's just whatever. Um, hopefully, my heads are not bad, but the car still starts even if it's running on three cylinders, four cylinders. Was it six cylinders? Maybe. I don't know. But anyways, it still starts and it still runs and it seems like it has power to it, even though it's missing cylinders, but whatever. <sighs> Again, that's a drag. Very big. Disappointing. But whatever. I guess I'll just have to figure it out, you know? Oh, man. Stay tuned. For another adventure of uh, building a motor.